Hello guys, Akira here and welcome back to another ARG mod review video. Today we're going to continue reviewing Realistic Ballistics mod. A link to the first video will be in the description below as well as a link to the mod itself. So let's get started. First off in this mod we have Vendas which translates to bandages. Bandages are just a healing item will do about 30, 40 and it gives you a buff for about 5 seconds. Very simple, very useful whenever you get hurt. But like I mentioned before, it will heal about 36 to 40 HP in total. Next up, we have the grenade. It's just a frag grenade, M67 frag grenade. Uh, let's go to it, and it does quite a bit of damage. So we'll test it out on one of the dummies, and boom. Oh, didn't go too. Uh, let's see. Uh, and it's just... We did. 787 damage. Now, the other thing, useful thing about this is that, yes, you can cook it. To have... Explosion. And also, just be careful. Because it will hurt you if you keep holding on to it. So, let's just test it out. And... Obviously right now I'm in creative mode, so it's not going to do it. Next up we have the throwing knives. Throwing knives are a primitive weapon and they are crafted as well on the weapons fabricator. You can go up to an enemy and bonk them. Boom. And it does 55 damage. Total 110 DPS. Now it's a lot more useful if you throw it. We can see critical it does 243, body shots do 77. Now the other thing that's useful in this... Uh, with this weapon is that it does bleed damage and we'll try to find a dinosaur that's not so big and scary like a Diplo and we're gonna test it out to just show you guys what are the effects that it does and for some reason there are no dinosaurs around here Let's see there's a Diplo over there so he'll be our victim let's go over here real quick and we're gonna test it out as we can see, it causes bleed out and it also leaves the trail, which is very useful for tracking down any dinos who are trying to run away from you. Next up, we have a really fun weapon. We have the M202 rocket launcher. The M202 rocket launcher fits four rockets and it causes massive damage. And we're going to go back over here to our shooting range and we're going to test it out. So from here, we can already see dummy here. 2,671 damage just from one drop. Now, if we all know the whole load onto target, we got 8,437 damage. That's a massive amount of damage. Look at that. 8,437. Accuracy wise, it does have a uh, area of damage, so. Obviously, it'll be easier to hit targets. But let's see if we can hit the 100 meter target. And I was not able to hit it. Hit the ground. Boom. And I missed. It. And I'm missing. Yeah, there we go. So obviously, it's going to be easier to hit something large. I don't want to anger that Diplo right now. But obviously we can do that. Next up we have the grenade launcher. Grenade launcher is very versatile. It has three different types of grenades. It has a regular grenade, it has a poison gas grenade, and it has a fire grenade. First off, we're gonna just try out the regular grenade. It does blow up on impact and it's very it's pretty accurate. Uh, let's see, a hundred. Go a little bit up. And boom. What about DPS wise? DPS wise, going 4,275 damage. So, pretty decent damage. Obviously, you can also blow up rocks with it, which makes non destructible. But destructible rocks can be destroyed easily with this weapon. Next up, we have the. Fire Grenade. Fire Grenade is a very fun one. 
it causes a little bit of fire on the ground and it causes damage so this is also impact grenade once it crashes or hits it causes damage 726 initial and then after that it just does a bunch of 20s which come out to 80 dps damage wise now we can light up enemies with this as well and we're gonna try to find another unsuspecting dino around here to attack and to use as her guinea pig so let's see what we got over here uh, for some reason there's no dinos on my other on my other videos okay we got a diplo right here boom it's on fire and it's down so very useful very fun next up we have the poison grenade the poison grenade causes torpor damage over time Now the f very useful part about this grenade is that it won't cause dinos to run away like if you were to shoot them with a tranquilizer or something like that. But the only issue is that it's not an impact grenade. It will bounce. And it'll have a bit of a delay. As we can see right here, the triceratops got tranquilized so that means it gets slowed down a bit. And if he goes back into the cloud, it will start getting tranquilized again. And let's see how long it takes. Also, you gotta be careful with walking into the smoke because you will get tranquilized yourself. Obviously, right now I'm in creative mode, so it's not gonna affect us. And here we got a bunch of clouds now. We're just trying to make sure this Triceratops goes down. You see, contrary to the tranquilizing shots, at least uh, Triceratops is not trying to run away. So this would be very useful if you had a taming pen or something like that. You know, you're just shooting it inside the pan. Or it can't run away. And it's about to go down. Oh, keeps running away from it. It knows. It knows what we're trying to do. Yay! We got a little bit more left. And there we go. Ride it down. So, very useful for taming dinos. And let's avoid it. And let's go back to the shooting range. Well, next weapon we're going to be testing out is the DNA. Oh no, DAN13. It a, uses um, syringes for different various effects. First off, well, let's see, let's get you back on here. First off, we're going to try the tranquilizing darts. The first one we have is the red one, the syringe tranquilizer dart, which is weaker than the yellow one. Uh, yeah, the yellow one's a shocking tranquilizer dart. Similar to the vanilla tranquilizer darts, that's going to do less damage. But we're going to also check out the weapon itself. The weapon itself has, let's see over here is very accurate I love the scope on it and obviously if we're shooting up close we're gonna get hits that's 15 crit 15 25 we got 50 meters over there we got 75 meters and 100 meters obviously I mean I don't know if you're really gonna be trying to chase down a dino 100 meters oh and doesn't want to... There we go. Didn't get a crit, but we got damage. So now let's look for a dino that we can use as a guinea pig again. Any other dinos around here? Uh, in case anyone's wondering what I'm using to be able to see the dinos and their stats and their status, I am using the Magnificent Spyglass, I believe. It's a very useful mod for keeping track of dinos. So here we have the Fiomi. It might be the same one from earlier. So here we go. Shoot that big booty. So see, this is where the grenade launcher was a lot more useful. Wasn't causing dinos to run away. And... Not causing a whole lot of damage. And boom. So it does a little bit of damage, nothing crazy. 
Next up, we have the Tranquilizer Dart. Tranquilizer Dart is more powerful than the red one. Let's see. And if I actually register, so it went all the way up to 700 right there. So it's going to buy out 60? 60, 70? And let's see, we're going to bring it down. Uh, I hate when the shots are not registering. The T I missed some right there, and there we go. It is down. So that covers the tranquilizing darts. Next up we have the fermo darts. We have a fermo dart and we also have a healing dart. Healing dart, I feel like it doesn't work right now. I have tested it out at least on my dino, and it's not doing a whole lot. So we're gonna go back towards Scarecrow. And we're going to let him get a little bit damaged, and then we're going to try to heal him. A little bit of damage. So we can see Scarecrow is taking some damage, something crazy. And if both of you guys attack me at the same time. So, that should be enough to show that Scarecrow got damaged. And now we're gonna try to kill him. And let's avoid. And here we go. So right now, got a little bit of damage. Switch over to the healing. And. Boom. It's not doing anything. If we read the description of it, it says Medical Dart. With the Dart, you can heal any player or dino from a distance. And it it's not healing. Next up, we have the Fermon Dart. Not sure if the Fermon Dart works or not, but we're going to test it out. Now, one thing to have in mind as well is that both of this, the Fermon Dart and the Shocking Tranquilizer Dart, both have a spoiling time. Uh, sadly, they cannot be placed in the refrigerator nor in the Extractors Plus refrigerator. So just have that in mind for now. I have tried to place them and I did turn it on, but it just wasn't working. So let's see, where is. There's not a whole lot of dinosaurs around here. Alright, guys, so I had to fly all the way up to the swamp too and to test out the Fermo Dart. And I shot that like to bow, but it didn't do much. So this is the Fermo Dart, yeah. And let's see, it's not doing anything. Well, they got the little, they got the little effect on them. And yeah, so it is working. So we can see both the Titan Bow and why am I? Why are you? Are you trying to attack me? I don't know why that team is trying to attack me. As we can see, everything's over there working. So the Fermo Dart does work. What? Stupid. Uh, so Sarko is getting attacked. I don't know what the flyers are doing up there. But, let's see. I didn't see how long the back lasts. But they're still attacking each other. And so, uh, uh, everything's attacking each other. So, Fermon Dart is very useful. Anyways guys, that concludes today's um, mod review video. If you guys did enjoy it, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to keep up with more ARC videos. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good one and see you guys next time. Thank you.